Good day, learners. It's always nice to see you again here in Valenzuela live streaming. Join me as we unlock lessons for this quarter. I am Mom Janelle, and I will help you learn English well. After going through this lesson, you are expected to research a topic with support using two or three sources provided, like newspapers, website, video, images, podcast, print-based material. The following are our objectives. Use appropriate mechanism or tools in the library for locating resources. Use card catalog, the online public access catalog, or electronic search engine to locate specific resources. Gather current information from newspapers and other print and non-print media. We will use the Alternative Delivery Mode module written by Ma'am Maricel M. Altes of Kanumay West National High School. Don't forget to have with you your learning materials. Ready? Great! Let's start our learning with this activity. I will post materials or programs which you can view from your television sets or through the internet. Examine each item if you are not familiar or you do not know about the material. Familiar if you know or you have heard about the material. Or very familiar if you have watched one. You may also share your answer by clicking a wow reaction if you are not familiar with the material. A like reaction if you are familiar. And a heart reaction if you are very familiar with the material. Our first material is documentary. Are you not familiar? Familiar? are very familiar with these materials. Let's have the second material. Internet-based materials. Are you familiar, not familiar, or very familiar? Let's have the third. Movie trailer. Are you not familiar? Familiar or very familiar? Let's have our fourth material. News flash. Not familiar? Familiar? or very familiar. How about our last material? Weather report. Are you familiar? Not familiar or very familiar? Thank you for your participation. Where are we now? Correct. Do you miss going in your school's library? Don't worry. After this pandemic, you may visit the library again and read the books there that you love. For now, just join me rediscover the wonders of our dearest library. What is a library? A library is a collection of sources, resources and services, and the structure in which it is housed. 
it is organized for use and maintained by a public body, an institution, or a private individual. When we need a library assistance, who are you going to call? Correct. Our efficient librarian. Have you seen this in your library? What do you call this? Correct. A card catalog is a cabinet of small drawers filled with cards for each book in the library. The cards are arranged alphabetically according to their top lines. Each card has a call number in the upper left-hand corner of the card. There are usually three cards for the same card catalog. The author card, the title card, and the subject card. Each card has the same information presented in a different order. The library has various names to be called. It depends upon the nature of services that it offers and the collection it holds. At present time, library can be called as the study center, educational media center, instructional media center, Learning Resource Center, Multimedia Center, Audiovisual Center, and the Library and Information Center. Collection development and management is one key and fundamental activity any library must embark on to build its library collection for the purpose of meeting its users' needs. Library collections are made up of print materials, non-print materials, and digital or electronic materials. Print materials. The print materials in the library collections are usually printed texts. They include textbooks or monographs, reference materials, Materials or periodicals and government documents. Book or monograph. A book is any document that has a collection of pages that are bound together with a distinctive title. It is a set of printed sheets of paper bound together along one edge. It is separately published and has an independent physical existence, although sometimes it may appear as part of a set of volumes in which the pagination may be continuous with other volumes. In such case, each individual book in the set is called a monograph. Printed books are made up of sheets of paper on which page numbers are printed on both sides. The sheets, which are assembled together, are then arranged in a correct order and sewn together along the edge, which is protected by a cover. Reference materials. These are book materials found in the library that contain facts of information and are not written in one's opinion. They are designed in such a way that one cannot read them from cover to cover but can be consulted for specific information. Reference materials are basically of two types. The one which informs the user where he can find the needed information like bibliographies and indices and the reference materials that contain actual information needed by the user. For example, encyclopedias, dictionaries, directories, and others. Serials or periodicals. Serials are materials that are published in successive parts 
with numerical or chronological designation and are intended to be continued indefinitely. Each issue is published independently. It could be weekly, monthly, quarterly, biannually, or annually. Serials publications include periodicals, journals, newsletters, newspapers, magazines, proceedings of conferences, and others. The term serials and periodicals are often used interchangeably, although serial is a more embracing term that covers periodicals, journals, magazines, pamphlets, and others. The physical format of a serial is not different from that of government documents or special collections. These are publications specially issued by various levels of government and their agencies. They range from world bodies like UN, WHO, UNICEF, others to the government constitutions, acts, fees, gazettes, houses of assemblies reports, and other government agencies, plus institutions, inaugural lectures, and others. Though some special collections come in form of artifacts and realia, others come in digital or electronic forms, but most of them that come in prints are classified under government documents or special collections as the case may be. Non-print materials. These are materials that are found in the library that are not in form of printed books, reference materials, periodicals, and government documents. As the name implies, they are not in printed form. The invention of technologies has made it possible for other formats to be used in recording human knowledge other than books. Examples of these non-print materials include orthographic materials, graphic materials, audio visuals, and audiovisual materials. Digital or electronic materials. Digital materials are all information resources in machine-readable format such as compact disc read-only memories, diskettes, flash drives, films, microfiche and allied accessories, such as computer software and hardware. Define digital materials as resources of human knowledge or expression, whether cultural, educational, scientific, and administrative or embracing technical, legal, medical, and other kinds of information that are increasingly created digitally or converted into digital form from existing analog resources. These digital materials include texts, databases, still and moving images, audio, graphics, software, and web pages, among a wide and growing range of formats. They are frequently temporary and require purposeful production, maintenance, and management to be. These are some of the helpful search engines from the internet that you can use if you are looking for a particular topic or information. Search engines for academic research. GraphSec. With more than 1 billion documents, web pages, books, journals, newspapers, and more, GraphSec offers authoritative resources in just about any subject without all of the mess of sponsored links 
and commercial results. Virtual Learning Resource Center. The Virtual Learning Resources Center has created a custom Google search featuring only the best of academic information websites. This search is curated by teachers and library professionals around the world to share great resources for academic projects. Library of Congress. In this incredible library, you'll get access to searchable source documents, historical photos, and amazing digital collections. For books and journals, we can use these search engines to find out which libraries have the books you need and maybe even find them available online. World Cat Find items from 10,000 libraries worldwide with books, DVDs, CDs, and articles up for grabs. You can even find your closest library with WorldCats, Google Books. Supercharge your research by searching this index of the world's books. You'll find millions for free and others you can preview to find out if they're what you're looking for. Worldwide Science. Use worldwidescience.org as a global science getaway, offering excellent search results in the sciences, and even the option to select specific databases and find resources in your own language. Keep your results limited to only the best math and technology resources by using these search engines. The Collection of Computer Science Bibliography Find more than 3 million references to journal articles, conference papers, and technical reports in computer science with this bibliography collection. DB Math Online Database. Central Bath Math's online database has millions of entries from thousands of serials and journals dating back as far as 1826. Nearly 35,000 items were added in 2012 alone. Get connected with great reference material through these search tools. References.net Through references.net, you can get connected with just about every reference tool available, from patents to almanacs. Literary Encyclopedia Check out the library encyclopedia to get access to reference materials in literature, history, and culture. Quotes.net Need the right thing to say? Check out Quotes.net to reference famous words from famous people. I hope you have learned a lot in our discussion. I will give you time to post your questions and our teacher moderator will gather them and I'll answer some of them later. Post your questions now!
for sending your questions to us. In case your questions will not be addressed today, don't worry. It will be answered and discussed by your English teacher during the follow-up discussion. I'll start answering our first question. How will we know if the information that we've searched is for that question. So all you need to do is to search for different sources. It is important to evaluate the sources and information you use for references, whether your purpose for using them is for a research paper, a class discussion, an exchange of ideas with a friend. Do not be tricked into believing that a statement or common belief is accurate or just because a lot of people believe it or accept it as the truth. Again, verify the statement. It takes only seconds in many cases. Even when I think I already know something, as example, before I spread the word through my writing or conversation, I research to make sure. Learn the truth before spreading misinformation or lies. For that, let's have our second question. How can we be safe from fake news? Very timely. It isn't that difficult, actually, to research issues online and to determine if news is truly fake or not. Sometimes, the things people write online are so comical that with a little thought, one can figure out that they are tall tales. Be aware that there are websites that write spoofs for entertainment. And the best way to know the difference between fake news and real news is to be informed. Never limit your information source to only one entity. When you limit yourself to only one source, you are just asking to be taken advantage of and deceived into life. You, let's have our third question. When we search information online, do we need to include the sources? Answer is yes. It is important to cite sources you used in your research. Including your sources can make you a responsible student researcher because you give credit to your source and you give acknowledgement to his ID. When you do this, you are showing to your reader that you've done proper research by listing sources you use to get your information. Aside from these reasons, citing your sources can avoid plagiarism or taking other people's words and ideas and pretending that they are your own. Thank you, dearest learners, for sending your questions related to our topic. Again, in case your questions are not entertained today, don't worry. Your English teacher will be there tomorrow for the follow-up. With this, I want you to get your module and see what's more. Match the items in column A with those in column B. What I can do will also be part of your test, where you will watch different materials from the internet. You will be given the link to watch the material, and after that, you will answer the given question. Again, thank you for your usual cooperation. Remember, students, learn the facts by researching various sources to avoid accepting and spreading.
spreading misinformation. You are responsible. Keep safe. Have faith. See you again in our next Valenzuela Live.